Jay-Z Doom is one of the most popular Doom source ports, but it's also the most divisive. Now before I begin, I wanted to mention that I'm not an expert on Doom source ports and I need to shop around more before I start claiming that X source port is better than Y source port. I have played Chocolate Doom, Crispy Doom, Doomsday, the original Z Doom, PR Boom Plus, and GZ Doom, but I haven't gone into each of them extensively. My source port of choice at the moment is GZ Doom, and that's because of its versatility. GZ Doom can play basically every mod and mega wad available and it has plenty of options to tinker around with. On this video, I wanted to talk about how to fix GZ Doom's graphical issues to make it more of a vanilla experience. The one comment I see all the fucking time is about having texture filtering on in GZ Doom. And I see this type of comment at least once every day. I think all of these comments are great and mostly in good fun. I mean, why would I take it seriously? It's not a big deal. You guys are hilarious. However, I do want to fix these graphics and close this chapter of my life this chapter of having texture filtering on in GZ Doom. When you download GZ Doom, put all of your wads in and boot up the game, these are the default settings you will come across. As you can see, the strafing controls are not bound to the arrow keys, which needs to be fixed immediately, and I personally like to bind the use key to my right mouse button. If you are playing Brutal Doom or another mod that features secondary fire modes, you might want to alter this setup. The default GZ Doom settings also enable mouse look, which is something I don't like at all. When I think of Doom, I think of not being able to look up and down. If I do play a gameplay altering mod like Brutal Doom or Project Brutality or whatever, I use mouse look, but that's about it. The default graphics of GZ Doom are very muddy and the lighting doesn't look as it should. This is because of the render settings and if you switch it to true color software mode, the graphics and lighting will be fixed. The difference that this toggle makes is crucial and it should be on by default. Also, go to texture options and switch off any texture filtering. This makes the textures retain that pixelated look and they don't get washed out anymore. In order to maintain the vanilla look of the game, turn off any decals and particle effects as well. If you shoot at a demon, you will notice that GZ Doom adds blood splatter and bullet holes on the walls. This is obviously not how the original game was designed, and disabling the decal effects will take this off. If you want to go extra classic, you can fuck with the music to turn it into MIDI tracks instead, but I tend not to do this. I really like how GZ Doom has all of these effects to play with, and while Crispy Doom improves on Chocolate Doom by having more options, GZ Doom really pushes the boat out. I know that GZ Doom isn't the best source port for purists, but I do like the modern updates it brings. GZ Doom gives the player liberty to do whatever they want with Doom, and it's also very compatible with mods. Yes, GZ Doom Counselor Souls as kills and doesn't have infinitely tall monsters, but those are things I can live with. I'm not saying GZ Doom is perfect, and I do want to check out more purist source ports, but I'm fine with it once you adjust the graphic settings. I do want to go into detail about more source ports someday, but that video will be quite involved so I don't see it coming out anytime soon. Since I have you guys here, I wanted to thank you for 10,000 subscribers, and you could consider this as a special milestone video. I mean, having texture filtering turned on has been the ongoing joke of the channel, but I don't think any video can sum up how much this recent support has meant to me. I hope you have been enjoying the videos, and I have many more planned. I'm still going to upload every day, because the least I can do for you guys is upload every day. People with quote, normal jobs don't don't really take days off, so why should I? I have longer form projects coming up as well, but I like to take my time with those and work on them in the background. If you haven't really noticed, I usually post a non-Doom video about every week or so, and I plan on continuing that. I appreciate everyone watching the videos, sharing them, liking them, etc. It truly means the fucking world to me, lads. And if we hit 20k, I might go ahead and turn off the Half-Life HD pack. Who knows?